What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. I think this one is pretty important. Welcome back to another episode of Debunking Gun Myths. On this episode of Debunking Gun Myths, accidental discharges. That's not a thing, guys. Okay, that, that's not the truth. I hate to break it to you guys. Whether you want to admit it or not, but there's no such thing as an accidental discharge, okay? No one has ever accidentally discharged their weapon. I'm not saying there haven't been negligent discharges because that would be a complete and utter lie. Negligent discharges, unfortunately, happen a lot. It's something that you see as a firearms owner. It's not uncommon, unfortunately, to hear of somebody you either know or somebody... And my whole point is simply that... Negligent discharges happen. Accidental discharges are not a thing, though. Why do I say that? Some of you guys might be wondering, and that's more than, that's fair. That's a fair question. I don't believe that any of, any, any of these discharges were truly accidental. Because accidental means I just simply didn't mean to. Okay, well, you did. You did. There are cases where there are discharges and it has nothing to do with negligence on the owner of the firearms end. There are situations, for example, like with the SIG P320, where it, it was just discharging on its own. And before you guys want to sit here and comment, understand SIG got held liable twice now. Twice they got held liable for their P320s just going off on their own. <clears throat> so you guys have to remember that there are discharges that are due to negligence of the current owner of the firearm or discharges due to the firearm manufacturer. But there is no such thing as an accidental discharge. What are the four firearm safety rules? Well, in this case, I teach five personally, but let's go over them. The fifth one that I've added is always know the condition of your firearms. But so that's one. Two, treat every gun as if it's loaded. Three, never put your finger on the trigger unless you are ready to shoot. Four, don't point the gun at anything you're not willing to shoot and destroy. And five, know your target and what's behind it. Okay, so what, what would happen in this case for you to have a negligent discharge? Well, you either would, one, not know the condition of your firearm because you would have to sit there and think, okay, yeah, well, it's okay for me to pull the trigger. And boom, that happened. Two, you didn't keep your finger off the trigger when you should have. Uh, let me see here. Three, you weren't treating every gun as if it was loaded, because if it was loaded and you were treating it as such, you wouldn't have had a negligent discharge. I mean, in the end, guys, <clears throat> in the end, an accidental discharge is fictitious. People use the word accident to take accountability off of themselves. That's just the unfortunate truth of the matter here. When in the end, a majority of people who have negligent discharges should use it as a learning experience of how to actually and properly use firearms safely or just handle them in a safe manner. In the end, an accidental discharge is a myth. It's a myth in the gun community, but negligent discharges are very, 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 very real. A lot of people don't understand the difference between the two, and it just boils down to the fact that in the end, <clears throat> some people might have subconsciously not wanted to pull the trigger, but if you had a negligent discharge, that means you pulled the trigger, so it wasn't accidental. Some people might have, you know, their shirt might have gotten uh, caught in their holster when they're reholstering. Still negligence on your end. It's not accidental. Okay, guys? <clears throat> negligence can't be excused when it comes to firearms. And it's a very unfortunate thing that we see nowadays where people are trying to excuse it. They're trying to just shove it under the rug. They're trying to just not shine a light on it. But in the end, it's kind of a big deal because it puts people in danger. Okay, people use the word accidental discharge simply to take accountability off of themselves or the person who has had the negligent discharge, plain and simple. While yes, you might not have 100% wanted to pull that trigger, you pulled that trigger. Wasn't an accident because that trigger was pulled by something or someone, whether it was your finger, whether it was your shirt, all of that 
does indeed fall under negligence. Now, I don't want to keep going in circles in this video. I know this one isn't going to be a particularly long video, but this has to be ingrained in your guys' head. Okay, negligent discharges, they happen. They're very unfortunate. They suck. They do happen, though. It's something that you just either need to make sure that you're extremely safe so you don't have a negligent discharge, or if you do have one, take it as a learning experience, take firearm safety more seriously, and move on with your life. Unless you got hurt or someone else got hurt, you can move on with your life at that point. But an accidental discharge is non-existent, plain and simple. There's nothing accidental about it. It's all about negligence, not about an accident. Now, with that being said, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And whether or not you agree with me, I mean, you can try to argue that accidental discharges are an actual thing. You could try to argue it, but in every sense of an argument, you, any argument you could come up with saying that accidental discharges are not a myth, in the end, I can boil it back down to negligence, okay? I can boil it back down to negligence, whether it's negligence on the owner of the firearms end or, uh, or negligence, there we are, I almost said negligence, or negligence from the firearm manufacturers themselves. But with that being said, y'all go ahead and make sure to comment down below why or why not you agree with me. Make sure to check out all my other videos. Make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.